This channel's content is intended for people over the age of 13. If you are under that age, please leave now. Thank you. Just to let you know, there's a ton of swearing in this video, so listen up, beware. Alright, troops. Welcome to the land of the dead once again. COVID-19 restrictions have been eased, so now we can go play tennis, fish, golf, or visit our neighbours that we don't talk to. I tell you this, there's going to be an awful lot of Scottish folk on those golf courses that don't play golf. Now, where did you get your golf club there, Jimmy? Oh, got them in the bread aisle at Tesco, a wee bit of a French loaf, driver number 12, you know? Anyway, this is a man-eater review, so I'll get on with it. But what can I say about man-eater? You probably haven't garnered looked at the, the front cover of the game. It's a, it's a game where you play a shark. I believe it's a bull shark. I was hoping it was going to be a great white. I don't know if that's the same thing, so I might look a bit stupid here, no, but it's a bull shark, so aye, good. So you're in the water, right, and you're swimming about, right, and you get to eat everything you can see. You can even jump out the water, jump onto the beach, jump onto a boat, jump onto the woods. Jump, 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 jump. A lot of jumping for a shark game. I was not expecting that, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> ah, it's good fun though, but I guess a bit dull after a while, because after all you are only swimming about and eating other fishes. And you can eat like barracudas, but they'll attack you. Then you've got turtles you can munch, and you can like, arr, arr, hear the crunch of their, arr, hear the crunch of their shells going, well, crunch. Underwater, so it's a bit muffled, you understand? You know, it's a bit muffled, but it's because it's underwater, it's, it's realistic, okay? Then you can get different skins for your shark. Well, the one that I got was a pre order bonus, of course. And it's a tiger shark skin, but it's no, not like an actual tiger shark, it's like a tiger skin from an actual tiger. Like, you know, raw, big teeth, big cat, tiger on the actual, on the actual shark. Looks a wee bit odd, but it's, it gives you boosts, so I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. It's basically a way of getting XP boosts without actually saying it's an XP boost. And a resource boost and a resource pack, it's sort of rolled on to the one thing. You can upgrade it and make it better, no? Who cares? Well, presumably you that are watching it and me that are talking about it, but other than that, who cares? So I now want to see more games involving animals. There is one coming out called Spirit of the North, actually, I think it is out. And you go a fox, and then there's the B game, which refuses to come down in price for some reason. I, I want to buy the B game, but it's still 35 quid, and it's been out for months now. Um, hello, is that game popular, or is somebody taking the piss? Uh, what else do you get, Animal I don't know, I can't remember, I might be talking about this shark game. So this is very reminiscent of the shark game that came out in the Xbox and PS2 called Jaws Unleashed. A spiritual successor, if you will. I've no idea if they're linked in any way other than the fact that you control a big ass shark. And then uh, you can eat people, in, did I mention you can eat people on the beaches? I think I did, but I'm going to talk about it again. You can eat people on the beaches, you can also get weird upgrades like electro, like electro shark stuff and bone armour from what I saw in a trailer and I'm like, what? Then you get to fight alligators and one of the best bits is a bit of the arms and legs off this alligator. And it still managed to kill me, which is great. It's always great, great fun, great laugh. Probably a better game if you're stoned at your box or if you're drunk as a skunk. Hold on, I need a wee drink. I need a wee, a wee whistle wetter, you know. Hold on. Ah, get some of those good old carcinogens doing my thrapple. Um, what was I saying? Aye, so you, you get to fight various things. It's an open world game, but you need to be certain levels or age. So you start off as a mother shark and that teaches you all your buttons and all your moves that you can forget before you get them back again. Because inevitably, towards the end of this tutorial section, you get captured and killed. And you find out that that bull shark is pregnant, so it's a mother shark. And um, they give birth to live young. Does that make them mammals? No, I think you need to breathe air for that. Like a dolphin's a mammal. Sharks, fish. I think, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know sharks gave birth to live young because you know why I didn't know that because I didn't really care I didn't care to know 
and I'm only guessing because that's how it happens in this game. They rip a baby shark straight for the body of its maw and fling it into the water. And that's you, the wee bull shark pup. And then you get to become a teenager and an adult and you can upgrade yourself, you can get better sonar, you get a tail whip. Like I say, you lose all your pebbles because it's a tutorial section. And then I was like, well, by the time I get these back, I'll know what I'm doing anyway, so that'll be fun. Then you get to bash open gates and there's secret, secret wee stashes and stuff. There's things to destroy. It's basically a normal open world game if made by Ubisoft. Except there's no towers to climb, but there are caves to explore, so we'll just say the caves are underwater towers. And you get to kill everything in them and then you get resources and you can hide. And that's really, that's really the size of it. I've no idea how long the game is. I'm not... I'm, I'm trying to get away from this mindset of game short, game bad, game long, game good. Because that's not how that should work. Plenty of long games out there. Like Metal Gear Solid Five's a long game, but I wouldn't say it was a good one. It's not a bad one either, but it's just a touch... Uh, uninspired, maybe? Dull, maybe? Depends on how you look at it, of course, but... To each their own. That's <laughs> anyway, um... If you want to buy this buy it, it's on the Switch and PS4, no idea if it's on the PC, I think it's on the Xbox as well actually now that I mention it, aye, Switch, PC, something, something beginning with Joby, Xbox, um, I like my Xbox, it's usually got the best looking games but it's getting the exclusive, anyway, well it's a big Sony press conference next week, that'll be exciting, I'll maybe do a wee video on that, I was going to do one on the Xbox one but it was too shite, and my computer couldn't handle me talking that much crap. Because it was utter crap. At least this one's not a remaster. Well, it kinda is. It kinda is a remaster, kinda a remake. Used to that one for 2002 or whatever it was. Ah, it's good, go buy it. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy yourself, even for only a short time. That's not a comment on the game's length, that's just the repetitiveness. Okay. The repetition cycle's a bit dull. Can be quite relaxing though. When you're swimming about, you're just you're just idly donnering about as this wee shark, and you're like, oh, this is chill. And the sun rays are belting through the water, and then it becomes night time, and you can see all the lights of the city coming through the water, and it's like, oh man, this is fucking chill. Alligator, you're dead! You're like, aye, oh, good, cheers. Thanks for that. Fuck you, game. I was just chilling here. Picked the wrong game for that. Aye. It's like Dark Souls underwater, but it's no... I don't know why I said that. I'm just going to leave it in, fuck it. So the alligators, are, um, they basically are bosses, and I'm going to beat myself to death with a French loaf. So, uh, adios!